In today's episode, Mustafa and the Babylon bikers take us to visit the infamous ancient city of Babylon to learn more about one of the oldest civilizations in the world. Before leaving Babylon, we ride up the hill to Saddam Hussein's palace. It's a very strange feeling parking our bike outside and walking through the desolate rooms. Finally, we say goodbye and shukran to Mustafa and ride back to Baghdad with Saif. Our time in Iraq is slowly coming to an end. Good ride. Hello, hello, update. After chilling here all day, avoiding the sun, uh, we're now heading out to Babylon. We're going to Babylon. To explore the ancient ruins of one of the largest and oldest cities in the ancient world. Ready? Ready to head out from Mustafa's? All right. Time to ride with the Babylon bikers. Hi, hi. <laughs> Hello, Salam Alaikum. Of course. Thank you. Shukran. Yeah, this Ishtar Gate, the original Ishtar Gate, was built in 600 BC. Uh, but this one was rebuilt in like the 50s. And as I said, some of the original is in a museum in Germany. And a little bit of, is here in Iraq. Blue for happiness, and on the outside, the animals represent the various gods, all mashed together in some strange animal form. <laughs> This our guide, Meki. You are welcome. Hi, my friend. <laughs> his father was working here and his grandfather was yes, working here. Yes, my father, grandfather and me work here 30 years. Yeah. And the born in here in Babylon. The gate for king and the queen. Mm -hmm. The gate are not straight here. Because the voice. Echo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. not direct. And then I'm stand like this, skirt here. Hit the arrows on the heart. Mm. Like this straight here. Like this on the heart. Mm. For security. Most of what we see here today, Saddam Hussein re rebuilt. Otherwise, it would just be some very small pieces of ruins, which are still here at the bottom of what's been rebuilt, but you wouldn't really be able to tell what the city was like. Whereas now, you walk through it, and you feel like you're walking through the ancient city of Babylon. Listen that, I get to open the gate. These are the original Ishtar gates. So pretty much everything you see here is New Babylon, which is about 600 BC. But the very bottom, underneath all of this, it goes back as far as 3000 BC, where Babylon was merely a village. Then around 2000 BC, Old Babylon was formed when it was the Kingdom of Babylonia, and this was the capital, Babylon city. What lies below all this is some of the oldest civilizations known to man. But New Babylon is still very, very old. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So I'm holding the original stone in Babylon and we know because in the middle there is a stamp. Yeah, the writing is cuneiform. Some of the oldest writing. <laughs> now I've got to put it down. <laughs> <laughs> All other gods face north is a sign of respect. Look like if they were not but look like that <laughs> this is the famous lion of babylon a lion because power and strength for the kingdom and the king and the reason 
that the face is destroyed and only the face is because when the enemy would take the city they would destroy the face of the lion because it's like destroying the power of the city, the power of the kingdom, the power of the king and the gods. Most of the city now actually looks like this. These are the ruins before they uh, rebuilt the other ones. So our guide told us that he was put in prison by the US Army in 2003 because all the soldiers were here and they were taking bricks like as souvenirs. And he said, no, you can't take these. These belong to the Iraqi people. So they threw him in prison. They locked him in a cell like one meter by one meter and they tied his hands for one month. So how did you get out of prison? From the Americans? Because uh, just one month, because for me, you want no respect for me. Because next time you me see like this, yeah. no speak. No speak, yeah. Yes. So they let, they let you out? They let you yes, because me see like this, what do you do here after? Me cry, cannot, because mm. me scared for the final. Of course, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Remove the egg this found, digging. Yeah. This southern palace, can you see the maze? Using labyrinth for traps the enemy. This maze, this elaborate labyrinth of walls and passageways, was so when the enemy come in, it would take them a long time before they could actually reach the main building, the other side. Over here, these are the main buildings where people would live. So the security here, king here, queen here, servants here, and so on. And this is where uh, Alexander the Great died. You're in the maze, Lucy. Smaller the gate. Yeah. Cannot attack here. Oh, okay. Smaller. Get smaller and smaller. And close. And smaller. And come back. And, um, and the end. Somewhere security here is done. Go. Kill everyone. Oh, yes. Good. Massacre them. This is a small part, like this, yeah. about 100. Round, round, yeah. and tired. And you come back, stand outside, ask yeah. myself, where are you go? Yeah. Round, another like this. My uh, stay here. Alone. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> there will be a guard. Bye bye. There will be a guard inside waiting for them to kill them. Mm. <laughs> uh, brother, yeah. uh, the people speak here. The leader, can you see? Yeah. Reflection the voice here and come back. You stand here. Mm. Army security here. Yeah. With the arrows on the heart. The entrance is offset from the exit so that when the enemies finally enter they can shoot them offset directly into the heart. Babylon bikers. <laughs> Welcome to Babylon. Shukran, thank you. Thank you so much. I hope next time you visit us. Yeah. Promise? And we come a bit earlier. Yes. <laughs> you want it? Yeah. Shukran, brother. Babylon done, Lucy. Well, almost done. <laughs> yeah, Babylon almost done. Yeah. We'll go back and see you the rest of the morning. But what an amazing place. And we had the whole place to ourselves, not one other person. Yeah. One of the most famous ancient cities in the world. One of the most famous landmarks to visit in the world. And the only people there. It's unbelievable. No one comes to Iraq. Everyone should come. Everybody should come. We're riding back into the town of Hilla. Got some stuff going on here though, hasn't it? It's quite, yeah. built, quite built up. Busy high street. You want one of these? Uh. to another dinner by the Babylon bikers. Every time we tried to pay to give something back to these guys because they've given so much to us. 
including this necklace today, and they won't let us pay for anything, no matter how hard we try. They say our presence is enough. Yeah. Iraqi hospitality is just never ending. Where are we now? And Kunafe. Kunafe, Kunafe, Kunafe. Brava. Scoop, not getting an ice cream. You get three, and bonus for Sashio. <laughs> and when you ask one piece of canapé? Two whole trays. <laughs> What's the plan then, Lucy? What are we doing? We're going to finish Babylon. Alright, let's go. What? Alright. Back to Babylon. Yeah, let's finish what we started. Side by side. Hold my hand! <laughs> 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 Who's that then? Did you know, did you that yesterday? Mind the barbed wire? <laughs> <laughs> Theater. And this is where they dance ballerinas. The Iraq bikers can't handle the heat. They don't like going outdoors in the day, <laughs> immediately finding the shade. <laughs> oh, it's not easy on this heat. <sighs> to the top. Entertain me. Oh, the sun is killer. Right in the middle of the day, I can see why they didn't want us to come out to Babylon yesterday in the day. But this amphitheatre is cool. It's huge. Uh, but obviously it's all been built back up like how it would have been thousands of years ago. So you get a feeling for what it would have been like, but at the same time, it feels like it's, it's new, so. This one on your view? Yeah. yeah. Muhammad Ali. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go to Saddam Hussein's palace. Lucy! Saddam Hussein's palace. Let's do a night like, stay in it. There's a big spiral road that comes up the hill to the grand entrance. Look at this. Woohoo! Wow. Saddam, good to see you, brother. <laughs> Get off. This is Saddam Hussein's palace. He built it during his time of power, right next to Babylon, overlooking the ruins so that he had the best view. Saddam Hussein, S H. In Arabic. S -H. Swimming pool. Up here, on the right. Saddam Hussein and Babylon. Saddam Hussein, Babylon. This must have been some entrance room. We just came in from the yard with the swimming pool. Ah, I think this is the main entrance room because we parked up outside the main entrance there and it leads you into here. Huge room. Huge, isn't it? Look at the ceiling. It's marble. It's Italian. 
And the United States stayed here when they invaded. Mm. Now it's for a lot of graffiti. Mm. It's elevators. There is a whole lot of barbed wire stopping you going up there. This is the room with the main balcony that overlooks the, the Euphrates River. Amazing view and it has the most incredible painting on the ceiling depicting all kinds of things from Iraqi history. The ceilings have some amazing hand-carved woodwork on them. That's the last thing that we're going to see here in Babylon. Next, we're going to head back to Baghdad for safe. Salam, Salam's palace. Salam, Salam Hussein. That was cool. Pretty interesting to go inside and have a wander around, isn't it? Yeah. But there's the grand front of it. Back to Mustafa's house for some lunch. Ah, good. Okay. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you. you treated us like your family. <laughs> yeah. We did. We did. Which is hard. Shukran, I tell you, I hope you will be well. Yeah. You treated us so well. Thank you. Okay. Okay. To Baghdad. Bye bye. Ready to go to Baghdad? To Baghdad. Ready? Now. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go down, let's go down to Baghdad. Let's go to Baghdad. Salam Habibi. Bye bye. Shukran. Bye bye. <laughs> Shukran. So we got about one and a half hour ride back to Baghdad now. Hopefully it's a smooth one. It's going to be dark for more than half of the way now because we were all napping. Should be fine. We've got a safe from the Baghdad Biker Division of Iraq Bikers guide us safely in. Baghdad might be crazy when it's dark. Baghdad it's crazy, crazy in the daytime. But at least it's cool. That's another bo positive. It's dark already. We're still in Babylon. <laughs> yeah. First checkpoint. Salam alaikum. Hey. been a bit of a chaotic ride, especially coming into Baghdad. But we made it back to Baghdad, Lucy. We made it back to Baghdad. And we're still in one piece. We're still alive. It was too bad. Not too bad, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Brother safe. Look at all of the city lights of Baghdad. Yeah. All of it is so brightly coloured. And it's very cool at night, actually. Yeah, it does. The streets. I think the biggest danger we faced in Iraq is the roads. The roads and the drivers. Who would have thought when, before we came into Iraq that we'd be riding through the streets of Baghdad at night? Fine. I thought we'd be in our hotel at night hiding away. Exactly. But there's no need. It's safe. It's good. We made it. Ah. Oh. Good job, Luz. Good ride. Did I have a ticket and then they lost me? Fresh, good, fresh, fresh. Loads of food! 
time for one last kebab meal before we leave back down tomorrow. The restaurant owner just came over and did a full video for us for their social media, and he said all our food is free. Well, I like, oh, like a TV interview. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you're getting interviewed everywhere. <laughs> And it's like you have to say where we are, what you like about Iraq, and how you like the food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's all the truth, but they want people to be told about how it is here. We're going to be up on that screen one day. <laughs> Our faces. Okay, let's try and get out of here. <sighs> Bye bye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Salam. Bye bye. Shukran. Thank you. That is off. Always an experience here. A simple dinner turns into a whole thing. Whole big thing. Yeah, yeah. But it's really nice, right? Everyone just wants to talk to you and take pictures and greet yeah. you and. <laughs> Just be kind to you. Back to good old Halley Hotel. And we've still got our parking space, haven't we? You want to hop yeah. off? Yeah, three, two, one. Good. There we go. I will see you again in Iraq. Yeah. I hope so. Okay. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome to Iraq. Thank My you. brother. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, you've really looked after You're us. Welcome. Really. You're welcome. Really. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my sister. Yeah. You have welcomed us like Thank family. you for yeah. everything. No, we, we need okay. to thank you. No, no, no. Yeah. I am, I am. For Thank you for everything, okay? Took a trip and uh, food and everything. We thank you and the Iraqi bikers. You're welcome. Yeah. You You're welcome. Oh, the whole community has been absolutely amazing. Yeah. So we really, really thank appreciate you. it. You're we will come back. We will come back to yes, Iraq. Yes, I wish this. We will. Okay? I see you again in Iraq. Bike or not bike. Yeah, okay? exactly. Yeah. I am very, very, very happy to see, to meet you, okay? But now I am very tired. Sad. <laughs> sad, sad, sad for yeah. this. Yeah. yeah. For goodbye. We say a huge shukran thank you to all of Iraq bikers and everyone that we've met, but especially to Captain Bilal, thank you for inviting us into your club and introducing us to all of your fantastic members and captains. We are, we are Iraq bikers, is very, very happy to come in Iraq. Yeah. Okay. Just Shukran. Shukran everyone. Bye bye. Salam. Shukran. Bye bye.